one of your many contributions as a public intellectual is uh, this concept of precision public health. What, what is that and, and why is it important? So precision public health for me is important because it takes the incredibly powerful concept of precision medicine, mm -hmm. right drug, right patient, right time, and applies it to public health and global health. Mm -hmm. So you think about the right set of interventions for the right population in the right geography. If you're a minister of health in Ethiopia, you've got frontline healthcare workers who might have a 10th grade education, who might have limitations in budget. And you've got to pick 10 things that she has in her bag that she goes out and carries to somebody in her village. What should be in that set of 10 interventions? What belongs there? What should she be trained to do? That's a tall order. Mm -hmm. That is a tall order. So precision public health for me is the concept of using data and monitoring and feedback to give those caregivers and the decision makers and the Ministry of Health, no matter where you are in the world or the Department of Public Health, if you're here in Washington, DC, the right information to maximize the value of every penny spent on health in service of that community. It really is a transition from a highly individualistic, precise way of thinking to a more prevention oriented, more community oriented way of thinking about being productive with the resources and including the human resources you have to keep a community healthy. Do you have uh, an example of, of where that's being done particularly well? Well, actually, I think we all are seeing an example of how that can be done well with the Zika virus epidemic. Mm -hmm. If you look at how we know where Anopheles mosquitoes are, um, that's the malaria mosquito. Mm -hmm. We've used that for malaria control. The Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is the source of Zika and dengue fever and chikungunya, some of the things people have been reading about, we know where the Aedes aegypti mosquito is. We know where Zika has traveled. We know community by community. Yesterday, we knew that there was a case of Zika in Texas. Mm -hmm. That's precision public health, mm -hmm. knowing precisely what community, where the patient was, what the transmission route was. And that allows caregivers and decision makers not to just say, OK, everybody in America should be worried about Zika. That makes no sense, mm -hmm. and it's cost prohibitive. Mm -hmm. But if you know the very communities, you can target vector control getting rid of the mosquitoes. You can target messages for women who are pregnant or who, or who might become pregnant. Mm -hmm. You can target messages for males who can transmit Zika to their partners. And it, it, both the public health messages on the communication front and the interventions on vectors and virus can be much more precisely delivered. That's a good example of where with the right resources and the right data, we can make a huge difference.